Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Sims 3 speed build. Now, I am recording this voiceover on Sunday, which is terrible, I know, and you'll be seeing this either Sunday or Monday, however I apologise for it being out late and not really being on time or anything like that, like I just have not been working on it. The build and everything was finished and I just didn't think that I needed to, like I didn't know how quick time was going and then all of a sudden it was like Saturday and I had nothing done. The build was finished and that's kind of why I didn't realise the day it was because I had a bill finished, ready to go up, it just needed to be like edited, voiceovered, whatever. But I just kind of didn't really think about having to do videos because I was sorted for a while, so I apologise. You'll be seeing it though soon enough, but um, yeah, I really have no excuse. I said on Twitter I was tired. I was tired. I was tired that evening because I didn't want to do a voiceover, but I'm doing it now because I've had a little bit of peace and quiet and just a chance to kind of sit down and chat with you. Um, and I'm trying to think what there is to chat about. So currently I have no builds, like, upcoming. As in, like, I haven't built any yet. The next build, on, like, I need to actually build it soon, I guess, so that it can go out um, on time. And then another part for the Let's Play. I haven't recorded it yet, so that's great. But again, I have said it that, that is going to be very, you know, like, it's there's no schedule. It's very inconsistent and... Um, I just want you to know that like don't be expecting it every Wednesday or whatever speed builds I try my best to be regular and consistent with them however it doesn't always end up that way so I apologize for that but um, yeah I get them out whenever I can and that is the main thing I think but anyway new Instagram threads app whatever currently not available in Ireland however I've seen like everybody going to it so what is it like what is it meant to be like Twitter I don't know, but I feel like it's the kind of thing that I'll use it, but I won't use it for Sims because I have so many places where I talk about Sims and whatever, like here, and I've had Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, Tumblr, all sorts. I've had it all and it just gets a kind of, it gets a lot, it gets overwhelming when you've like 10 different websites, 10 different apps that you're kind of talking about the same things on. So I think I'll stick to Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff for the social media side of it um but hey it could be something cool maybe maybe not but you'll need to let me know what you think of it because I've seen loads of people using it however I don't know what it's like yet because it's not available in Ireland yet so that is great but whatever it's fine it's some, one of those things that I'll you know check it out when it is out and available but we'll see another thing I wanted to talk about was celebrities singers doing concerts and being hit in the face. Oh my god. I, like, I knew it was a thing. I knew people threw things on stage all the time and it was just one of those things. However, recently, like the past month maybe, I have seen so many people being hit in the face, hit in the eye, having like actual injuries because fans like just throw things. In my head, like to me, when I'm at a concert, throwing things on the stage is not something I've ever thought of doing. I don't care how much I'd love a singer or whatever. To me, that is just ridiculous. And it is crazy that people actually do that. And after hearing celebrities have been hurt, they still continue to do it. It's ridiculous and I don't really get it. But what? I, but I've seen like, who was it? Who was the person who had stitches in there? Who had to get stitches on their like eyebrow or something? That was so bad. They ended up with like a black eye. I can't remember their name. I'm so sorry. But even I saw like yesterday, Harry Styles got hit in the eye with something. Like it's insane it's crazy and it's one of those things I'd never really hear about but all of a sudden in the past month it's all I'm hearing about so it's terrible I'm trying to think what else there is any other like crazy news that has been going on recently I'm sure there's loads a new um horse pack which obviously that is why I'm doing my pet sets play and everything like that I've mentioned all that but there's a trailer I haven't seen the trailer yet but people are well some people are not happy of course because there's always people who are not happy but other people are like, look, we get a new world, we get this and that and whatever. So how are people not happy? So it seems that like there is a lot in the pack. However, some people are just not happy with it. So I definitely want to check that out, check out the trailer. And then I'll say like my thoughts on it, I suppose. But um, that could be cool. But I don't know. It's it's crazy because some people are just mad about everything. They get a whole new pack and everything. I know it's like $40, whatever, but... I don't know, still. Sometimes I find it ridiculous how much people are complaining about them because, I don't know, it's crazy. 
whatever. Anyway, I'm not even going to talk about it because it's just crazy. But this house, I'm going to talk about this house now. This house is called Galway. It is a colonial style home. I think that's what it's called, like a colonial kind of home but I love it it's beautiful it is like white on the outside and the roof is black and the shutters are black and I just think it, they really stand out and I really like how it looks but it's kind of also different to the houses I normally built because I don't normally build colonial style homes and I'm very very happy with it I'm very pleased with how it ended up turning out because I find that sometimes when I build colonial style homes they can look kind of boring in a way because it's it's literally you know it's usually just like a square with so a lot of windows and whatever but I really like this I think it's really nice and there's also a garage behind the back which also looks cool I really like it I'm very pleased with it but I have seen so many pictures on Pinterest of colonial style homes after saving a bunch to like a Pinterest board for like inspiration when building houses so I was like okay I have to build one so I built this one and I'm very very pleased with it of course download link will be in the description below and um yeah you know, check it out. Feel free to check it out if you want to. But the kitchen, I remember it being beautiful. I really don't remember anything about the house because it's been like a week since I built it, more than a week probably. And um, yeah, I don't remember anything about it, but I think it looked like there was like three bedrooms upstairs. Maybe, I'm not too sure. Also, I should have cut this out. Ignore it, just pretend it's playing because I don't know why I didn't cut it out. Whatever, anyway. Yeah, very big kitchen. There's also a dining room and a living room, which are open. They're all, you know, nice and open together. But the kitchen, it's also open, but there's like this little, on the right, you can see it. The like columns, which are kind of separating the like entryway. I didn't want to do an archway because I don't like using archways. Sometimes they never fit where I want them to go. So columns is just easier. So that's what I did. But I have been playing The Sims 4 recently. Like just, you know, myself not recording anything and I've been absolutely addicted. I have so many mods and custom content, of course, but my game is so laggy. It is so bad, but I just, I just enjoy it so much. It's like, people hate The Sims 4 and they're like, oh, I could never get into it, but like, I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's such a good game. Obviously, nothing compares to The, to the Sims 3, of course, but I absolutely love it, and I've just been playing in an apartment with a nice family, but one thing I have to say as well is columns in The Sims 4, they, you can't like alt place them. They have, they're like, they're stuck to the grid and I hate that so much. Usually they're fine and you know what I mean, say the, where the columns are in this house, kind of at the edge of the wall, like they place, they will place at the edge of the wall, it's fine. But it's just annoying because you can't like alt place it wherever you want it to go, which is really annoying and I I don't know why that is. I think it's just weird. I don't like that you can, you know, you, you can't do that, but whatever. It's fine. Like, you know, you can obviously make it work, but it's just one of those things that I always kind of forget about, that in The Sims 4, there's some things you just can't do when The Sims 3, you can do. It's weird, but whatever. I love the living room because the windows are huge. There's windows at the side of the fire fireplace and also right behind the couch, but they're huge windows. They're custom content, probably from The Sims Resource, I imagine, if I had to take a guess, but they're beautiful. I love them. I think they're really pretty. And also in the dining room, there's two windows too. But yeah, I've been absolutely loving them. But um, one thing I wanted to say was, I really want to start a series where I, okay, I do not take requests for bills. In the comments, if you're like, oh, build a three bed, two bath house for a five person family. No, I don't do that. I don't like doing that because I can't, like, I just don't have time to be doing that because it takes a lot of kind of figuring out yourself. Whereas if I'm using a picture, I can kind of build a house that way. Does that make sense? And the thing is, if you're looking for a house with specific bedrooms and bathrooms, I probably have built one like that before because I build all sorts of houses, bigger, smaller, whatever. So just check on my channel. I know it's kind of annoying because you need to check each one, count the bedrooms, bathrooms, whatever. But I'm sure that I've done all sorts of houses and a lot of houses can be edited to fit more and whatever um but I just don't take requests because it's just like I don't have time to be kind of figuring that stuff out however I wanted to do like a request kind of format video but almost easier in a way it's not as complicated where you send me like a picture of a house and I build it you know what I mean whether it's a floor plan or just the you know exterior front picture of the house whatever 
and I build it and try and give it a go because I think it's good because it'll be a way for me to build other style houses and then you guys also can request a house so if you're like god I'm playing with the generations family with 10 generations living in it and I need a mansion send me a photo of a mansion and I'll give it a go you know what I mean I don't know when but if you wanted to send me pictures and I can try and build houses feel free now when you're seeing this video feel free to do it now and I can kind of work on it over time and I can you know show the picture and be like this is what the house was meant to look like and then this is the final picture that kind of thing I don't know I feel like it could be a nice idea because I use pictures like all the time when building houses um I think they're so handy so it definitely would be a really good idea and if you like had your eye on a house but you didn't want to build it I can build it for you I don't mind like just you know send it to me and I can build it for you I'll start a little business or something imagine that imagine me doing that like okay you I'll build you a house but it's gonna cost about like ten dollars an hour but it's okay because you get the house of your dreams no I would n never pay for it that's not even like not anything I would do but I will build a house for you if you'd like but don't tell me how many bedrooms and bathrooms you would like just send me a picture and I'll do it that way because I don't want to be figuring out floor plans and stuff like that and I find it okay I am not able to build a house just like that like I I need a picture I need a floor plan whatever because I feel like I just don't really not I don't really know how a house should look does that make sense but when I'm building it just freehand kind of just going for it I can't do that it just never works for me and it just never like ends up looking how I want it to look but with pictures it's so much easier I'm sure a lot of people are the same too like once you have something to go off of I don't copy houses like I see a house and I might take inspiration from it and get a rough you know layout floor plan color you know palette whatever but I don't like follow a house exactly you know what I mean and I don't know if, I don't think I need to give like credits when I'm building houses and they look like other ones I don't know whatever but um yeah send me houses if you would like me to build them and I'll build them for you not a problem I would love to do it I think it'd be so fun and I would really enjoy that definitely um but one thing I wanted to mention was we're getting so close to a thousand subscribers which is crazy we are currently sitting at about what are we sitting at 970 I want to say so oh my god it's crazy how quick my channel has grown and it's all down to you guys I just make videos I don't do anything crazy so thank you I really appreciate it and we're getting close to a thousand and I'm very excited and it's just a new milestone and I'm like so excited and so surprised by how fast we're about to hit it but thank you I really really appreciate it but we're coming up to the end of the speed build and the end of the voiceover so I hope you enjoyed I don't know why it's paused now again I don't know why I always do that in builds where I just pause and just don't cut it out whatever thank you for watching I really appreciate it you can download this house of course in the description down below um don't forget to subscribe again because we're trying to hit a thousand as quick as we can and what else is there follow my socials twitter instagram and that's kind of it i don't really use discord anymore which i've mentioned but i really appreciate you watching this video have a good rest of your day night whatever and goodbye